Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about the 1,000 Pound Sisters, Amy and Tammy, Season 3, Episode 9, Smoky Mountain Meltdown. Now, here is the thing. Tammy pissed me off to the fullest, okay? She really did because that whole bitch fit that she threw didn't need to happen. She could have left all that out, okay? Tammy was not afraid of that ramp. No. Because later on, everything made sense. She wasn't afraid of that ramp. She's talking about, oh, she didn't want to go in the first place. She's a liar. She did want to go on that trip. She did want to go on that trip. And I'm so glad that Amanda stood her ground because everybody still was catering to Tammy. Okay? First of all, they didn't take her back home. Fine. But here is Chris and them. Oh, who's going to take her to the house to take her to the um, hotel? Why pay for her, her to have a hotel? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seemed like all she got to do is throw a fit and she's going to get her way. I was just so angry. I'm like, I know this is not happening. I know this is not happening. And she's up there cussing out people and carrying on. The man was like, you're not going to talk to me crazy. You're not going to talk to me like this because it's disrespectful. You are sitting there looking like Jabba the Hutt. And I'm sorry, but she does. She's sitting there and she's looking like she's about to pop. And you giving attitude and a monster attitude and the yelling that you're doing you can't even finish the whole sentence because you're getting out of breath talking like she really got on my nerve like girl do you not see what you look like i hope that when she when these episodes are over that she go back and look through them because she looks totally ridiculous how are you cursing out people that's there to help you how are you giving them attitude and they're there for you and still and still trying to make you comfortable trying to include you and you want to talk about you didn't want to come in the first place you what she's a liar she's a liar she's a liar so when it was in the house i got really pissed off because i'm like okay let her sleep in the car she would have stepped right in that car no chris was like well i'm not taking her back home but she needs to go to the hotel we could put her up for a night whatever and i'm like what so what happens they go michael and amy they volunteering them to take Tammy to that to the hotel. And I'm like, and he's still I would have said no. I'm not doing it. No, I'm in the house. It's late. I'm not doing it. That's it. She would have just slept her ass in that damn van. Cause I would have took her nowhere. Sorry. You talking to everybody like they crazy, but yet you need somebody to push her behind. And you I don't I don't get her. She got so much ish so many issues. Okay, if she got the nerve to have a nasty attitude like this, she, I would never help her. Mm -mm. I couldn't do it. I would never help her. I could never help her. But once again, the family was, you know, trying to include her or whatever. So after they, the next morning after they ate breakfast and they did what they had to do, they went over to Tammy's house. So, I mean, excuse me, Tammy's hotel. Amy has the key. So they go over there. It's Amy, Misty, Amanda, and Chris and his wife. They go over there and everything, and they go in, and she's sitting in the living room, in the in the bedroom, or whatever. And they didn't take the cameras in because they didn't want you know the cameras to come in. But we could hear everything that's going on. So she, I think Amanda asked, her, "Who are you on the phone with?" And she was like, "My business." And I said, "What?" So they came out pissed off. Amanda was heated, okay. Amanda was heated. She's talking to old Phil on the phone. You have a restraining order against him. This man was doing stuff to you and all kinds of stuff. You got the nerve to be on the phone with him because when Timmy was in that room and they were showing her taking pictures, she was taking selfies of her, like holding her arm up of her face and all types of stuff, all the different angles. And I'm like, okay, but who are those pictures for? Where are those pictures going? And I'm sorry, but that top that she had on, that that was not for her. It was not for her at all. So, but whatever. So, Amanda was here. She was hot. because She was like, I'm not going to do this with her. Okay? I'm not going to do this with her. And Amanda looked like she was punching in her face. And I wish she would have just socked Tammy one good time. Okay. After that. They was bringing her the chair. They got her a motorized wheelchair. 
Tammy complained about that. I don't like it. This is, you only had it for a hot second and you don't like it. <sighs> Nobody's not going to be pushing you. Nobody can't push her. Somebody, put, they're going to throw their back out, their hip, they side, all types of stuff. She got to understand, nobody can could just be pushing her all the time. Nobody's not going to mess up, they mess up their body because of her. That's ridiculous. Oh, my God. This episode, whew, me and my husband in here is going off on 10. <laughs> just going off. So, when they all went out to eat or whatever, Amy had found this cute horror spot to eat at. I, I like how I, I know I'm all over the place. I'm not, I'm not in order, but Amy, she likes horror stuff. She tried to just try to do different things, and I like that about her. I do. So, Amanda and Tammy get into it, and she's talking about, why don't you shut the F up and all that kind of stuff? And Amanda was like, get out that seat and make me. Girl, when Amanda was going at it, Amanda got on her face. I was like, hit her, hit her, hit her. She was like, wait till these cameras turns off. It's, Tammy, she need a good ass whoop it. I'm sorry. And I hope Amanda give it to her. I hope Amanda give it to her one of these days. Because, honey, Amanda looked like she was, oh, boy, she was a second from jumping on Tammy. Because she don't bat, she don't bow out of to Tammy's mess. She does not. She don't sit there. She try to talk to Tammy because she love her and she care about her. That's her sister. But she's not going to have, Tammy is not going to talk to her crazy. And every time she do, Amanda is in that behind. As she should. As she should. Okay? Okay. So, let's talk about Chris. I am so excited. He got to ride the roller coasters and all that kind of stuff. Girl, when Tammy, not Tammy, when Amy got up there and she had two guns, I was like, go ahead, girl. She was like, look, I'm blind in one eye, so I need two. <laughs> she needed two guns. But they looked like they had genuine genuine fun without tammy okay they had really good fun they were they was taking pictures with their little um you know the outfits on oh baby amanda got a set on her honey amanda got them boobs up there. i thought i had boobs but she pff, amanda got some boobs honey she got some boobs on her and she tall she's a tall girl so it was they they all looked like they had fun and they all was there to do what they were supposed to do. You know, have fun and be with be a family. But of course Tammy gotta spoil it for them. She's gotta spoil it. And it's so it's like at this point, at this point, I don't want after this season, I don't want to see Tammy ever again on television. I'd rather watch Amy, Chris, Amanda, and Misty, or Amy and Michael's, you know, spinoff. I'd rather watch that because Tammy has really gotten on my nerve. But you know what? Because Tammy is a train wreck, that's what keeping everybody engaged and watching because of her. They want to see what type of antics she's going to do next. And I'm one of them people. I ain't going to front. I'm one of them people. Yes, I am. But. She's just, she just ridiculous. She's ridiculous. So she had her little meltdown, all kind of stuff. And honey, next week's episode, she's going to be self-destructing like a mug. She's going to be drinking and partying with her friends. And those are not her friends because if they were her friends, they wouldn't be having her drinking like that. Knowing, knowing her situation, her health. You get what I'm saying? And what happened to Nurse um, Nurse Tisa? We haven't seen her. She done ran off Tisa. Probably. But what did you guys think about tonight's episode? Let me know in the comment section. I thought it was pretty good. But Tammy really, she really plucked my nerves in this episode like nothing before. Oh boy, she was a hot mess. She was a hot mess. But I'm, I, I'm glad. That Amanda was there and Amanda was, was not backing down from Tammy. She did not back down from Tammy at all. And everybody else needs to follow suit. Stop pacifying her. She don't want to help herself. You can't help somebody who don't want to be helped. She wants to do what she wants to do. So let her do what she wants to do. That's it. She's a grown woman. She don't care if, if, if y'all love her or not. 
she is going to do what she wants to do. And so, the next week's episode, Amy tells Tammy that she's moving. And when she told the rest of the family that she got, the, they took the offer of the house, they was like, well, what about, you know, I wonder is, you know, what's going to happen with Tammy? And she said, I don't know. And she should. This is Amy. This this is Amy's time to do for her and her family. Okay. And now that she got a new bun in the oven, oh, she can't be messing with Tammy. Oh, no. She cannot be messing with Tammy at all. But anyway, that's all I got. Let me know what was your favorite part of the whole show. And I'll talk to you guys later.